That would explain why you're so sweet and your mama is. Is somebody going to come in here and help me move this living room furniture or should I just go ahead and break my back? You're coming, Miss Harper. <laughs> Oh, are we going to have fun? <laughs> Will you two put it on ice? <laughs> May I remind you that I prepare food in this room? You could look up disgusting in the dictionary and there'd be a picture of this. Good Lord, National Geographic ought to do a special on you two. <laughs> the lounging habits of the North American couch potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> Break it up, you two. Good Lord. I'm zipping you up, buddy. <laughs> I'm giving my husband his evening kiss. Part of my wifely duty. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how none of your wifely duties can be performed standing up? <laughs> Let's see here. Hank Monroe's used cars. Anybody know him? Yeah, I dated him once. Well, he obviously knows nothing about quality. <laughs> when it comes to picking wives. <laughs> Miss Harper, I'm giving my two favorite guys a test to see how romantic they are. Good Lord, don't tell me you're still reading Cosmo at your age. You want to be a pilot? Even better, I want to be a flight attendant. <laughs> are you nuts? A stewardess at your age? Wake up and smell the coffee to your milk. <laughs> age requirements, Miss Harper. All you have to be is pleasant and polite. Well, that lets you out. <laughs> your foolishness has turned this entire household upside down. Our meals are upset, your husband's upset. Where the hell did you get that outfit? <laughs> I sewed it myself. Well, it looks it. <laughs> I'll have you know I copied this uniform out of a picture in a magazine. Oh, yeah? Which one? Banana Illustrated? <laughs> I've never been so uncomfortable in my whole life. Well, I'd be uncomfortable, too, dressed in that get-up. <laughs> Just what is wrong with my attire? I've always found this outfit very suitable for religious occasions. That's because you've got to pray to God it stays up. <laughs> What's the matter with my hair? It's too big. <laughs> I'm going to a funeral, not the Country Music Awards. <laughs> Isn't this something? Yeah, something cheap and gaudy. <laughs> Miss Harper, which of these two dresses do you think I ought to wear tonight? The slinky satin or the gold lame? Good Lord, Naomi, you're chaperoning Bubba's prom, not entertaining the troops. <laughs> I want the judges to see me in the best possible light. Well, you better pray somebody blows a fuse. <laughs> What kind of a Christmas present can I buy a girl that she'll be crazy about for less than seven dollars? Not much of one. <laughs> Unless she and Naomi have the same taste in jewelry. <laughs> now I'm going to help you fasten your seatbelt. Well, wait a minute, isn't this my good Sunday belt? Well, yes ma'am, but I couldn't find any others. Well, doesn't Benton have any belts? Uh, yeah, but his weren't big enough. <laughs> My circulation. Well, it's supposed to be snug. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go make my announcement. Well, fine. Don't mind me, even though I'm paralyzed from the belt down. <laughs> All right, I'll get you one. I can't hear you. I said I'll get your damn drink. <laughs> you don't smile nearly as much as a real stewardess. <laughs> You're not planning on walking like that during the test tonight, are you? 
What is the matter with the way I walk? Well, you're supposed to be a stewardess, not a pigeon in heat. <laughs> I'll have you know, I am doing the stewardess glide. <laughs> yeah? Who's teaching this course? Tina Turner? <laughs> personal boudoir, Miss Harper, and I think it looks just fine. That's because all you ever see of it is the ceiling. <laughs> all you have to do is just stand there and look good. Now that I can do. <laughs> oh, wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> These women are professional athletes. The only thing you ever exercise are your lips and your hips. <laughs> can do anything. Nothing decent people would pay to see. Zero. Oh, gee. That's $3,500, honey. <laughs> that leaves $31,500. I'm a whiz with figures. Now we know the other thing you're good at. <laughs> oh, and since when are you such an authority? Your idea of a workout includes a man, a bed, and a cigarette after work. <laughs> that is a total I've never smoked a cigarette in my life! We are not! I'm not playing with a big loser! Why not? You sleep with one! That is right. I'm not about to spend my afternoon getting all hot and sweaty over some slimy slug. Why <laughs> not? That's the way you spend your nights. <laughs> Oh, shoot, now I have to pay everybody rent. <laughs> Talk about a game based on fantasy. <laughs> oh, if I lived in this great big expensive house, I wouldn't lift a finger. Well, it's nice to know that money wouldn't change you. <laughs> it means I break my back around here cooking and cleaning and nobody ever gives me a whoop of help. You want some help, all you have to do is ask. All right, Naomi. Help me! <laughs> He'd sleep in my bed all night long. I'd rub his belly and he would lick my face. What the hell kind of smart is that? Yeah, who is this Marlon? Well, he was my little puppy, but Bubba took that part out. Oh, it wasn't my fault. It was a camera. Didn't you think it was dynamic and revealing? No. Bubba, you were Oh, what reputation, you tramp. Tell me, what was your childhood like, Mrs. Harper? Well, I'll tell you what. When I was growing up, we were told to keep things to ourselves. My daddy always Excuse told me. Excuse me. Uh, I was addressing the other Mrs. Harper. Well, pardon me all the hell. <laughs> I won't say another word. Come to think of it, I think I was pretty hungry for affection as a child. Becoming an adult did nothing to curb her appetite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 